Hey, welcome here. I'm going to show you the latest AI powered features in Storms. Follow me. Okay, so first of all, we're going to create Storms. Click on the button, create a workshop, and then put the title. The title is extremely important because it is going to give the context, what is the challenge you are working on, and the AI needs that context to understand what you want to do. So let's say, hmm, we are working on a very old company and we have a huge challenge of attracting new talents. So this is my challenge and I'm gonna formulate it as a how might we question. Let's do that. How might we attract new talents? Okay, so now I click on the button and it's gonna create my workshop. You see that by default, it's gonna create three clusters, one, two, three. We need only two of them for this demo, so I'm just gonna delete all of them. And let's say we do a quick brainstorming and we're gonna put all the ideas in one central bucket. So this is cluster one. I'm going to rename it all ideas. And click on save. So now we are ready. And I'm going to show you the first AI powered feature. So the first feature is a feature that generates new ideas based on the context that we provide to the AI. And we provide the context by the title of the workshop. This is the challenge and also the title of the bucket, because right now we have a very generic bucket, but you'll see we're going to have different buckets with different topics, and it's going to take that into account. And it also takes into account the different cards. Right now there are no cards, so it's going to look mainly at the title. And you click on this button, and this is where the magic happens. So you wait a little bit. Ta-da! Here are your first three AI-generated ideas about the Attract New Talents Challenge. And now, if you click again, now it's going to take into account these first three ideas to generate three new ideas. You won't have any duplicates. Et voilà! And for the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to click once more. Of course, if you had some participants, they could add their own ideas and build upon the ideas of the AI. Just for your information, right now if we limit the context of the memory of the AI to the last nine cards. So if you have a lot of cards, you might end up with duplicates. Okay? You have to remind of that. Okay, so let's say now we have a lot of different ideas and now you want to regroup them by theme. And you know what? There is a feature for that. Okay, so let's cluster these ideas into different themes. You go into the menu of a cluster and you see that you have a command which is cluster with AI. I'm just going to click on it. The AI now is thinking, thinking, is doing the work for you. Et voilà! It has created three clusters, and not only created the clusters, but also give them a label. Employee advocacy, employee attraction tactics, and community talent pipeline. Now I can remove this one because it's empty, I don't need it anymore. Okay, um, and remember, now that we have different uh, topics, I can also ask, use my first AI feature to generate even more ideas, and this time they're gonna be unique because they also take into account the title of the cluster. Remember, previously we had only all ideas, which was very generic. Now we are really creating more specific ideas. And maybe now one of the group is too big. If I click again, I'm going to have 11 ideas. 
Well, not a problem. I can ask again the AI to cluster this big red bucket into smaller buckets. Et voilà. And you can do that as long as you need and very quickly create a lot of different ideas. And all these ideas, they are a little bit of insights, inspiration for your participants. Okay, let me show you another AI powered feature. So this new feature is creating variation around an idea. So let's say, for example, that I create an idea that is about uh, iPads. And I think there is something to do about iPads, but I'm quite stuck. So I'm going to ask the AI to generate variation around this iPad idea. So you click on the card. And when you click on the card, it's going to appear in big, and you have a new button, the brainstorm button. Click on it, and now the AI is doing the job of creating few free novel ideas about iPads. Provide free iPads, incentive, referrals, event and raffle, raffle. So you see, uh, it works quite well. So that was another. AI powered features. But wait, we have more. So remember that when we were clustering the ideas, it was creating the label automatically. But sometimes you are creating the clusters on your own, the old fashioned way. And maybe you give it a generic title like cluster one and you have a look at the different ideas. Um, yeah, let's say for example all these ideas uh, about the iPad. I'm going to move them to cluster one. Okay, and of course it's quite easy to see that it's, an, uh, it's a cluster about iPads, but let's have a look and maybe I can rename the cluster using the AI. Sometimes it's much more difficult to find a good label. And here uh, we see, by the way, that we have a free word label, which is quite good. It mentioned the iPads, but also the objective of the iPads, iPads for engagement. OK, so all that is great, but I don't always need the AI to provide me with the idea. Sometimes I just want the AI to help me create better idea as a participant, to raise the bar of the quality of my ideas. So in order to do that, as it's a feature that is going to be accessible to the participants, previously the features were only accessible to the facilitator, I need to activate them. Because in Storms, you always control what you give access uh, to the participants. So I'm going to open my settings for the current step. We have only one. I'm going to customize these settings and I'm going to activate the generate hits. And I'm going to save them. OK, so let's say that I am brainstorming uh, uh, the role play topic. I want to add an idea, but I'm, I'm quite stuck. But I don't want the AI to give me the ideas. I want the AI to give me some hints. Oh, look at that. There is the AI assistant. I click on give me some hints. And now I can read. Think about the audience you attract. Consider the benefit of role playing. And maybe now I can think, OK, so maybe it's going to be an idea where uh, um, students can uh, live the life of an employee for three days. 
Okay, now I want some I want the AI assistant to analyze this idea and give me some line of thoughts on how we can, I can improve it. Think about the benefits and outcomes, consider the logistics and the practicality, practicality, practicality of implementing the idea. So again, I could uh, do it on my own or discuss with the other participants and we could improve this idea so that when we save it, it's a much higher quality idea. And finally, we still have some new features to show you. Uh, for example, and it's a unique feature to Storms. You, you can ask the AI to analyze the pros and cons of an idea, and anything, by the way, about an idea, to build an action plan. And for that, we're going to use the list feature. So you open your step bar, you edit the current step, and here uh, I'm going to add some lists. And you can add any kind of list, any kind of questions about an idea. Here I want to list what are the pros of an idea, what are the different cons about an idea, but you could ask anything, okay? And so you see now that I can add pros and cons, and you also need to give to the participants the access to this feature, AI feature. Otherwise, they, won't, they will only have the manual pros and cons feature. Save. Okay, so now let's get back to my idea. Here, I click on the card and now I have the pros and cons that are empty. I can either add them manually or I can ask the AI to analyze what are the pros and what are the cons of this idea. And one of the cons is the logistical challenges, by the way, and the limited exposure to the culture. So how can we manage to give exposure to the company culture? And again, it's a great way to improve the idea. And again, you could do much more than pros and cons. It could be uh, make this idea even more crazy. It can be what are the first steps to implement that action. You can ask anything about this idea. It's a way to develop the idea. And finally, once you have developed your idea, well, let's add a picture and we can generate a picture on all the different ideas that we want to illustrate. Et voilà. So in this screencast, you have seen the seven AI powered features of Storms. You can generate ideas, you can generate variation of an idea. You can cluster the different ideas in order to regroup them and it's going to create the label of a cluster. You can also rename a cluster based on its content. You can uh, get some help as a participant to have some line of thoughts to improve your idea and to make more robust ideas. You can develop an idea, the pros, the cons, the improvements, the next step, whatever you need, the AI can provide in the context of a specific idea. And finally, you can create an illustration of an idea. Even an intangible concept can be represented uh, by the AI. So that's all for uh, this screencast. Now you need to experiment. You need to play with it. You need to test the best way of using this feature. When do you use, when do you use the uh, AI feature about generating the ideas? Do you use it straight away? Do you wait for the participants to create card before? You can test all of that with your participants and get back to, his, uh, get back to me and give me your feedback and we will embed all your feedback into the tool. Thanks a lot.